lights, 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 camera, and unfortunately no action whatsoever. You kind of get the impression I do like lights. You will see behind me there and there and there and here. In the middle of 2023, I did a review of the LumeCube Broadcast Kit Light, which is a panel light. In that review, I went through everything in it. I'll put a link to that here. It's a great light. In fact, so good a light, I've actually bought another one. So I now have a second LumeCube Broadcast Kit. It's one of those things, if you keep looking around for it online, you'll find it cheap enough, which I did this time. Um, it was from eBay, secondhand, but it's hardly used and I paid less than 20 quid for it, and it is a fantastic light. There are a couple of things I got wrong in the review last time. Very straightforward, one of them was this. I said that this ball head didn't come off the stick, which is extendable stick. It actually does, it was just very, very, very tight. So it actually does come off, and it's actually got a little thread in here, like a little key bit, that you can actually stick a coin or something in, and then you've actually got a larger mount is your large size which might go on the light stand so that's one thing and there's also something else i didn't even realize at the time that i got it until later the little tripod that comes with it little three-legged tripod very sturdy but if you want to make it even sturdier when it's on the base or somewhere you actually pull the legs and they extend and i didn't even know that beforehand they have actually got a little push button thing on the inside that you can shut it up with so much more useful than I thought it was. Now, of course, having two of these lights, there is a purpose to that. You can light stuff from either side now, so it's quite nice to get an even lighting. But having two of them, I need somewhere to put them, along with my other Loom Cubes case. And luckily, I have a GoPro case that I got donated to me by a lovely guy called Kieran, I used to work with. He had a GoPro case for the GoPro Heroes, which he didn't use. So I got this nice, big, chunky case, which doesn't really keep my GoPros in. My GoPros are kept somewhere else, in one for the camera, in the camera bag, and I got another one in another GoPro case. So I didn't really use it for much, it was just spare bits are in it. But it is ideal for putting in the Loom Cubes. You can actually get in a couple of Loom Cubes, the two Loom Cube panels, and all the accessories that I need. So the accessories that I need are just the tripod and the little extender and the ball heads. There is a bit of an issue with that, in the fact it is actually quite heavy now. And when I say heavy, I mean heavy. It weighs 1.3 kilograms now with this lot in there. So maybe not the sort of thing you'd want to take traveling away with you. But of course, if you did just want to go away quickly and you took the two panels on their own, they weigh nothing. They are very, very lightweight little panels. So they are ideal for that. I have still got the other case that I was going to use for the light panel, which was this thing here. This has now got lots and lots of accessories and mounts and little tripods and all sorts of bits to mount stuff in it. It's full and again, it weighs a ton. But that did get me thinking also a bit more about lights and something else I got around the same time. About September 23, I got a light from a boot fair. Well, the only thing I buy from boot fairs and it was a light, a little round light with mirror thing finished to it with holes, cost me a pound. Very, very nice. Loved it. And like with everything else that you really love and you like and you think that looks really cool, I broke it. It was glass. It fell off the shelf and it hit something and it just shattered the bits. So I've been left with this. Um, so you've still got some of the glass I need to break off. It's got a switch and it's a USB connector. So it's very useful for something. It's not the world's brightest light, but you know, it's gonna be useful. And I thought, yes, definitely useful. As I've got my glue gun, which I haven't used yet, I'm gonna do some crafting. You know I like crafting. So, and I'm gonna be really sad. This is a really sad craft. I have a glowing glowberry prime bottle, which glows in the dark anyway, but very faintly. And this will fit onto my stand. So I can actually make, eventually, the idea being anyway. Yeah, no, it's really sad. Lots of people do it. I thought, why not? So I have a million and one lights around, as I said, so I'm gonna make a glowberry. I've cut the bottom out already, ready for it. I've just got to then glue it with the glue.
Strangely enough, there's an art installation in Canterbury in the river. It's called Alluvia, and it's a Lady of the Lake sort of thing, where it's a lady in the water, based on a sort of a Shakespearean play. And at night, it's supposed to be lit up. And I've come on the night that she's not lit up, which sort of defeats the object, really, because every time I come to art installations, I always get sort of let down, don't I? <laughs> I am very disappointed! But, generally speaking, I'll show you some pictures in the link, I'll show you what I have filmed and pictures of her in the day. It's quite a good idea. As she's in the water, maybe it's just a case that her batteries have run flat, you know. I don't know if she's solar powered or what. So yeah, that's that out of the way. I did see some nice lights the other day in Whitstable though. I was over Whitstable, there's lots of lights in lots of the shops. And one of them is these little light bulbs in this little sort of like restaurant type wine bar, which had beer, things like that and this nice little love bulb she did say they're actually available on Amazon as well um, the lady who runs the place but they're sort of things you have to hang a certain way so if I were to get one I'd have to get some sort of hanging thing for it so but they're nice and I like the look of them so yeah sort of somehow attracted to lights in some way always Thank you.